Hi, the reason why I'm doing another take two is because I didn't get to finish what I was talking about and I didn't get into the storyline today, which is important because I've been following it every day for two weeks especially and it's really getting good right now. So you have to go into the plot to understand where they're going. Um, okay. So, um... Let's see, today was, uh, well, um, I was happy because, uh, Kelsey Wang as Allie is back on the canvas, so whatever was going on with her, I guess she's back on, um, which I'm happy about because I thought they were trying to minimize her character and her, just put her in the background, and so I'm happy that they're showing her again, um, okay, and then Ashley, um, Ashley and Tucker have a, a, a meeting again, um, although I'd say Tucker has more to do with it than Ashley because uh, um, as much as Trevor St. John is a great actor, he is great, but when the storyline doesn't show off his abilities, what is the man supposed to do? The man is turning into a, like a, a little boy chasing after a girl or something. I mean, he's doing everything he can to get Doc and Ashley's good graces, which, okay, I can appreciate that, I guess. Although, I don't know what kind of move you're going to make. Because you and Ashley have a sordid past at, past at best. And you're asking for the character to forgive you, to just forget everything your past was. And I, I don't know. And also, I brought this up in the last video, but it irks me to no end. Why are you doing whatever with Audra Charles and in bed with her in one week? And the next week, you're back to trying to get Ashley again. It's like, pick a woman, man. I don't care which way you go. Just pick a woman. And then leave the other woman alone. Okay. All right. Story number three, I guess. Although, I didn't see this one coming. All right. So, I thought, like everybody else, that uh, Jeremy Stark was off the canvas not for good, but for a while. Because the only way people are gone for good is if they die. And or if... No, but even when they're, they die and they say they're dead, sometimes they come back from the dead. So sometimes that doesn't even count. Um, so, but anyway. Um, you know, so I, I thought but I thought Jeremy Stark was gone. So I'm like, okay. Um, but then he mysteriously appears. Back in the uh, the bar or whatever, and he's trying to hit up Phyllis, which is played by the wonderful Michelle Stafford. I love you. Um, <laughs> but Jeremy and, and Phyllis, and Phyllis is not having it. Um, she's like, Okay, what are you here for? What's the what, why? What do you want? That kind of thing. And I would have the same questions because I would say, I thought you were gone, so why are you here again? Um, yeah, that would be me. Um, so, you know, uh, okay, and then, uh, let's see. Um, the only other one, like, there's other storylines too, I, I know, but what I'm saying is that the only major one that carried over was, I, I told you, okay, so, Valentine's Day. After Valentine's Day, after Daniel and Lily spend time together, and, uh, and then he comes back home to spot or see Heather, now I know what the relationship is. Okay. I'll break it down to you if you haven't seen it. Because it's not that complicated, but it's, it's a little bit if you don't understand that it's you wishing from the beginning. Okay. So apparently... <clears throat> In the time that Michael graduated, was gone. Apparently, he got married to Heather, and but now they've been separated 
for an unknown amount of time. And Heather's the one who come back and tells him that, no, okay, she fell, in, she met somebody, she fell in love, and she wants the separation to become a divorce. And so, um, of course, Daniel was reeling at the news and whatever. And he says, uh, about everything I did, I tried to get back to you and Lucy and, you know, and she's like, I'm sorry, but I fell in love with that. Um, because also we have a past and you know how, how can I forget what you did in the past? Which I don't know what you did in the past, but whatever. Um, okay. So how can I forgive for that? And I'm like, okay. And then, she, and then, you know, she finally says, okay, but I want a divorce. And he's like all heartbroken and everything. And, uh, but then. They, they're going to split. So, it leaves the door open for the possible Daniel and Lily uh, reuni reuniting. And, okay. Um, I'll give you my opinion on that, like, a little bit. Um, okay. As a fan, I'm happy because, okay, teen, teen love, you know, you know, you can always go back to it and all that stuff. Okay, I believe that. But what I'm saying is I hope they don't rush the storyline and just go from, like, one relationship to the next relationship and, like, bam, they're in a relationship. Okay. No, it takes more time than that. Okay, maybe not so much time, but it takes more than five minutes or something. I don't know. Um, that's just my two cents. And the thing about talking about... uh. Relationships that move a little fast. Um, okay, now they've come back to Jack and Diane. Um, you know, and their relationship and whatever. And apparently in the last episode, not the last one, but the one before that, Jack asked Diane to move in with him. Now, okay, she's only been back on the campus for a couple months. And all of a sudden, now they're in a relationship and now they're getting moving in. Okay, if this was real life, R-E-A-L, life, and, you know, you're doing that, then people would say you're moving a little too fast. Now, granted, a little bit. I'll give them a little, little bit of leeway because they have history together. Apparently, they were together for years before, whatever. And so maybe they've got history, so maybe it'll work out. But also, Diane is always in black, which to me signifies she is a bad character. I don't know what her motivation is going to be. I don't know how it's going to implode, but I'm telling you it's going to implode big time. And as a Jack fan, I don't want Jack, Peter Bergman, to get hurt. I don't want that. Okay? So whatever you do, don't kill Jack's heart. That's my two cents. I'm off it. All right. I now have given you a full perspective on today's episode of YNR, so I'm out. Goodbye, everybody.